Hey guys, I'm Daddy. Why? I don't know, but today I am excited because I am finally back home. Yes, this is my first YouTube video home from the holidays. Yes, after some complications with weather and a canceled flight, I am safe back home. Pyro is safe back home in our Carmen's room, but unfortunately, my sister Carmen and my dad have COVID. So, that sucks. Yeah. So whenever I want to leave that door, I have to put on this mask in order to either get food, get water, see my family <laughs> at all. Um, but yeah, I wear this mask and go outside because this is my room so they don't come in here anyway so um i'm safe in here but we're not gonna talk about that today we are going to watch the sequel from knives out called glass onion now i know that one person in particular okay you guys remember the incredible not not like the old like 70s stuff but like the like the first time we saw Hulk in the MCU, remember the guy who played him, Ed 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 Norton, right? And you remember Ed? Remember, remember? We all remember Ed, right? Edward Norton. Yeah, we remember, remember Ed. We remember Ed. It's kind of the whole reason that I started watching, you know, Marvel stuff. It was like literally my first movie introduced to the Mar MCU, and then I learned that there was a movie before that, and then I got hooked think so but i've watched that movie so many times but i thought that that guy was gonna be the hulk for ever but then you know we got mark ruffalo so he's cool he's cool he's cool he's, he's pretty cool but i i, I miss ed norton as hulk he did better but it, that's that's my opinion that's my opinion but uh yeah you can do better. But anyway, uh, today we are here with Glass Onion with Ed Norton and Daniel Craig again, probably back in his southern drawl, being, <laughs> being like the Colonel Sanders of like a Colonel Center detective, as I called him, and the and um and knives out. But um, we'll see who gets murdered. If is there a murder? I don't know. It, what type of crime is he solving? From what I can see from the posters. We're on a beach vacation type, like, resort type place type thing. And I don't know what's going to happen. But um, if you guys enjoy this reaction, make sure to check out my Patreon where you can see all of my stuff, including including my cousin, um, her first ever video of her editing one of my videos. So she is editing one of my videos, and this this video that you're seeing right now is going to be edited by me, but the video that I hope to get by the end of the, no, it's Friday already, uh, and by the end of next week is um, Strange World. I really enjoy that movie, but you got to look at my Patreon if you want to see the full length reaction and early access to it, because it, it takes a lot, because I edit like for like a day or two she takes a whole week so <laughs> plus she has like better software than i do so we'll see we'll see how she does and it, and i will give her credit where credit's due and link her of all for singles for me is down on her edit videos so yeah um but yeah i hope to get that video done soon because i would love for you guys to see it because there are some things that I love about my movie and that made me question my life choices, so. Yeah. Anyway, we're not talking about that movie. We're talking about this movie that got an 8 from IMB. Wow. People must have loved it. Um, let's go back to the world of Knives Out and let's see Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery. Remember, full length reaction for this and all my other stuff, Patreon. Go. Right, right, like, right now. Like, no, like, right down. Or later. You can do it later. Let's do it later. Later. Jesus Christ, I thought that was my door. May 13th, 2020. Oh. 
Hmm? It's from Miles. No, I know. I know. But what can I do? Oh, I know this guy. He's, um, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. I know him. Pardon me, are you Aaron Burr, sir? Aaron Burr! Depends who's asking. Oh, well, that is sir. Aaron Burr, I'm sir. Hamilton. Uh, Excuse me. I don't know, some guy just dropped him. <gasps> All right, genius, what is this thing? Well, it's a Miles invitation. <sighs> well, duh, but I mean... What is it? It's like a, it's just like a block of wood. Yeah. Well, there's got to be a way to open it. It's solid. Right. There's no latches or even visible seams. The wood grain pattern's weird, though. It's like it's familiar. Hmm. Open it, Lionel. Lionel, uh, use your science brain. I'm working on it. Bert, should you really be having a party? No, they're all in my pod. It's fine. Has anyone heard from Duke? No. <clears throat> oh! So this has got Dude, what are you doing here? Honestly, I would like to speak. Boobs give us many useful things. Boobs give us milk, cheese, breast nourish our young until the age where we can go out and hunt for them. Uh, what? Let's be honest. Boobs are fun. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, right, babe? I love my boobs. There's I don't love my boobs. Hey, what is this thing? My mom already broke it. It's a stereogram. She did something to it. It opened up. I don't know if she broke it. Stereogram? A whatogram? Wait, a stereogram. Were those the same? Magic eye things? I can never do those. Mom, what did I tell you about touching my stuff? Ooh. <gasps> oh, that's cool. Oh. Look at that. It's like that. a giant pyramid. <gasps> oh, my dear friends, my beautiful dear friends, my closest inner circle. Moment of normalcy, and so you are cordially invited for a long weekend on my private island. Where we will celebrate the bonds that connect us, and I hope your puzzle solving skills are wet. Oh, I hate puzzles. You will also be competing to solve the mystery <laughs> of my murder. Excuse me? Travel details to come. Please forward any dietary restrictions. Love and all my kisses, Miles. His what? What's that? We just opened it. I don't you you, know. ju you just missed all of it. But his murder? You were inviting us to solve your murder. If it's if we're hold on, if you're solving your murder, does that defeat the counts of it being a murder? Oh, hide new person. I don't know. It just makes no sense. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you got one too. Did you figure it out? Probably not, right? We all figured it out just like ten seconds ago. Where are you going? Oh, you're just gonna bang it. I would not do that, but... No, go, go ahead. Go, go at it. Go. You seem very stressed and very angry, so I'm gonna let you have this. I appreciate what you're all trying to do for me here. We're worried about you, buddy. Lockdown hasn't been easy for any of us. Mm. But Philip told me you haven't left the bath for a week. Oh, that's hyperbole. You're not in the bath again, are you? Maybe. It, no... <laughs> playing Among Us. I'm just. <laughs> I'm the best I lose Among it us. between cases anyway. I think I might be going insane. In <laughs> my mind is a fueled up racing car, and I gotta know where to drive it. I need a great case. Lark, there's someone here for you with a box. Well, Blanc, you may get your answer. Benoit Blanc? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Are you Benoit Blanc, the detective? Oh. It is. <laughs> In the flesh. Uh, oh. I'm obviously familiar with you all as well. Governor, Dr. Tucson, Miss Buddy J. What an extraordinary gathering. Where's your mask? Crew! Disruptors have assembled! Mm. Where are you in Greece, Mr. Blanc? I, I was invited by Miles Braun. Tight with Miles? No, never met. Then, oh. ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Greece. The fuck is he doing here? <laughs> He's everywhere. I swear. We'll assist you with your luggage, but first, I'm going to need you to remove your mask and extend your tongue. This will only be momentarily uncomfortable. Uh. 
Uh. No pineapple on that, right? Duke don't dance with pineapple. There's no pineapple. What is fucking Ethan? No, no. Uh, what's his face? Fucking Moon Knight guy and Black Phone guy doing here. I know his name. Don't don't braid me in the comments. I know his name. It's it's just just weird. What is that? Open, please. What is that? Is that some kind of disinfectant? Oh. You're good. Have a great trip, everyone. Okay, thank you. Ethan Hawk, Ethan Thorn, Ethan. It's gonna kill me. Don't believe me in the comments. Is that him? Oh no, it's my answer. Oh, it's a girl. Yeah, it's a girl that just. Everyone looks surprised to see her. Why are we surprised to see her? Don't mind me. If you see me knitting, uh, it's, I'm sorry. It's, I never I could not help but notice a stir at her arrival. Yeah. That was a stir. She's not in your little gang. She was. She is. Andy started Alpha with Miles ten years ago, just the two of them. That's Cassandra Brand. Andy, yeah. And they're no longer partners. One legal move would cut her out completely. Yeah. Booted her without a dime. Social network to law. But he still invited her to this weekend? The question isn't why he invited her. How did she show up? Probably for revenge, but if he's already dead, then that's like cowardituitous. Or whatever the word I'm looking for is. Oh! Wow. Was that Doc of Banksy? Pichet Oh, is that the name of the island in Greek? Pichet Shay. There is. I didn't know you could play guitar. Dun, dun, dun. Serenading me with my song on the guitar Paul wrote it on. <laughs> I know, legit, right? But look at your face; it was worth it. Oh, my friends, my friends, all oh, my old. Not a dream, wide awake. It feels so good. Oh. Hmm. For the Hulk. He got crushed by uh, Drex. <laughs> so what this happy to meet? Mm. But I know this connection, though. Andy. It's a connection. You're here. Uh huh. I am. I know you guys think I'm a hippie, but a little bit. Can we just take a second and fully abbreviate this moment together? I mean, we're just our gang, just us. Hey. hey. Who's that? Hey, that's Daryl. Oh. He's, he's just staying here. He's going through some oh. things, but he's not part of the oh, experience okay. at all. Cool. Okay. So, first, <clears throat> a proper tour of the glass onion. The glass onion? Oh, yes, here we go. oh my god, the glass onion, like our yes. bar. Oh, it's near their bar. So we, um, get I've occasionally put on the dog in my life, but this, this, this is stretching my stride taking abilities. You're doing great. I'm Andy. That is very genial of you. I'm Ben Wall. You got a flat tire there. Thank you. Whoa. It's like oh, it's an actual, actual glass, glass onion. onion. Oh, wow. Yep. It's past, present, and future. It's, it's what came before, where I am now, what I'll leave to the world. Ignore me. I, this is the full reclamation of everything I've achieved up to now. Right? I mean, see, look, that's the thing. Is I mean, that a dog bellhop? It's, 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 it's not even a house. It's a, it's a commune for creativity. I'm sorry, that thing just. The fuck was that? Well, what is that? That's the hourly dong. Oh. You know, I got Phil Glass to compose that. Who? What? Who's Phil Glass? Okay, let's stop talking. I, I really am glad you're here. I'm sorry, but that is just crazy. I know. Hey, huh? Mr. Blanc, hmm? can we have a quick word? Mm, of course. To be included and to, to meet you. Hmm. Is that a motor car? Oh, yeah, that's my baby blue. It's one of a mm -hmm. kind. It goes anywhere I go. You're interested in that car, road. huh, Buck? Why is it on the roof? What are you doing here? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. What are you doing here? Uh, you invited me. 
No, I didn't. Mm. But you sent me a box. Wait, you received a box? Yes. The wooden box was delivered to my home with some simple children's simple. photos. Which, uh, once I completed them, there was an invitation inside. Do you have that invitation? Well, yes, I do. <laughs> How many of these boxes did you create? Five, one for each of my friends. No test boxes, no prototypes. Right? Well, my, my puzzle guy barely got the five done in time and he apprenticed with Ricky Jay. And uh, once the boxes are open and the puzzle's complete, is there any way to close them again? To, to reset them? Hang on, hang on. Someone reset the box. Someone reset the box. Oh, they sent it to oh, you oh, as a gag. I am... Mortified. I, I don't. Why? I, I've got the predefinite detective in the world at my murder mystery party. That is so legit. Mr. Braun, I've learned through bitter experience that a, an anonymous invitation is not to be trifled with. Mm. Okay, look, come on. Weird. Who invited him then? If he didn't. That's weird. I'm gonna tell him. Don't you dare. A dip. <laughs> Hey, Grab a hard kombucha. They're oh. actually pretty good, you know. Well, Jared Leto sent him over. Oh. I think he wants me to well, well, I am on vacation, so... Uh... Hey, pooch me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, the baby blue. Iconic. Hey, you remember that night you almost pancaked me with it on the road outside? Right? Anderson Cooper's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. Really, Duke? Jesus. Oh, my God. Really? Asshole. Why? That is quite a piece. <laughs> it. I don't know it's dick or the gun. <laughs> what are you thinking, Blanc? Oh, hi. Andy! Hi! Wow. How long has it been? Since the trial, so a few months. Mm, the trial. Ugh, that was not fun. No, I... I can handle the Matisse in the bathroom, but is a uh, is, is that a fax machine? It is. <laughs> Miles doesn't even have a phone. It's really convenient. I, you know, I have one number. It goes to all my fax machines all over the world. There's something about analog that's. Uh, I mean, what first drew you all together? You're such an eclectic bunch. <laughs> I think disruptors recognize each other. No, no, yes. You, you've you've used that word before, disruptors. Well, what does that mean? Well, some people think Birdie's disruptive every time she opens her mouth. I mean, just because she says what everyone's thinking, but no one's got the nerve to say. It's what we did with Alpha. Disrupt. Yeah. Yeah. Things up. You start with something mm -hmm. small. You break a norm or an idea or a convention, some little business model. But you go with things that people are kind of tired of mm -hmm. anyway. Everybody gets excited because you're busting up something that everyone wanted broken in the first place. That's the infraction point. You're gonna say you're a bully. They're gonna tell you to stop. Even your partner will say, you need to stop. Because as it turns out, nobody wants you to break the system itself. And that is what unites all of us. We all got to that line and crossed it. Mm -hmm. No, no, I don't, actually. No. I'm, I'm very confused. Wow. Mmm. That was some real red pill stuff, Miles. <laughs> the Andy I built Alpha with, she believed it. Oh, I believed it. I believed it. Mr. Blanc, you're a detective, right? Yes, so. Can you spot the other thing? The real thing this group has in common. That is the common thread here. Every single one of you is holding on for dear life to Miles Bryan's golden titties. Damn. And he covers up. You'll stab a friend in the back to hold on. That is what I believe. I mean, is she wrong? I don't think she's wrong. The mistake speaking without thought for speaking the truth. Don't you mm. think? I do. Are you calling me dangerous? Yeah, 
was, I guess I am. Something's off. What do you mean? She's changed. This is a smokeless garden. Nope. This is a smokeless garden. What are you looking for, Dookie? <laughs> Ooh, whiskey's getting down with miles. You jealous of your girls going off with your dude? Are you gonna do it for me? Yeah. 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 And, um, the Imperial thing from Star Wars. On his knuckles. Welcome, gang. Two cocktails before I'm murdered. I think I remember everyone's favorite. Oh, we got the males. Alibari. That has a kick. Oh, that's uh, Jeremy Renner's small batch hot sauce. <clears throat> I let him invest. He sends me like a pallet every year. Take a few bottles. Oh. I mean, I know you have a thing for it, but. I mean, this this place is the Tate Modern. Why why would you hang a framed print of the Mona Lisa front and center? It's like having a Che poster in your dorm room. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or come. That's on. not real. That's not Wait, real. It's impossible, Ma. That's not I mean, real. My incredulity, but surely, <laughs> no. The, the Mona Lisa, it's that's property of the state. There's no way. Blame it on the. Pando that's board. not. Louvre's closed, France needed money, and so I bought myself a little short-term loan. You know, it turns out the transport and the security was most of the cost. Check this out. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't tell the insurance guys, but mm -hmm. I had a little override button installed. Oh, yeah, Where do you, you think did. it is? Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, it's, it's so freaking sensitive. A phone ding That's... closes up. It's, it's ridiculous. It's classic. What hey. is he still doing here? here? Yeah, you are here though. What did I say to you guys? The first night that we hung out in the Glass Onion, what did I say? I want to be responsible for something that gets mentioned in the same breath as the Mona Lisa. Forever. I, I, and what does that mean? Oh, it means immortality. He wants to do something that's going to change. Wait a minute, Miles. Why do you have the Mona Lisa in your living room? That is a good question. Is one question. week, I've invited world leaders and members of the press from all over to come to this island. And right here, I'm going to unveil the future. Uh, glass. Piece of glass. You know what this is? You know damn a well. A piece of glass. What's going on, Miles? Uh, I don't. <laughs> don't drop it. It's a piece oh of glass. <laughs> That's a new solid hydrogen fuel. It's incredibly powerful. It's radically efficient. Zero carbon emissions, and it's derived from abundant seawater. I call huh. it clear with a K. No. Why? Because I was clear with you. I told you I need two years minimum to test this stuff to see if it's safe or even viable. Claire and I are not going to be responsible for putting something out in the world before it is tested and... This place oh, yeah. is powered by no. clear. You, you're running this entire entire place, place off, this? off of that. All of it, all this awesome lighting, the heating and the cooling, everything right down my fax machine. The whole glass onion is powered by clear. Oh my God, Miles! I'm out. I'm done. This is reckless. Why? And you're gonna get somebody killed. Bro, you're not getting out. It's already happening. Love you. Come on, let's let's eat. We got three days to bask in the sun, swim in the Ionian Sea, eat good food and wine, and enjoy each other's company. But Clue. you will have to closely observe the crime. Okay. Consider what you know about each other. Know that across the island, I've hidden clues. Some may be helpful, some may misdirect. That's for you to determine. But if anyone can name the killer, Tell me how they achieved the murder, and most importantly, what was the motive? That person 
wins our game. Have we started already? Is it? Well, the murder hasn't happened. Oh, okay. But, yeah, why not? As Watson said to Holmes... It was Bertie who planted a remote device on a crossbow in revenge for you stealing her signature Ren Diamond. Look at the seat arrangement. It triangulates, Bertie, just perfectly with that thing, which is loaded with a dummy bolt aimed directly at Mr. Braun. Now, I believe close inspection will reveal some sort of remote triggering device, but more damn, that is a vintage Jayhawk brand crossbow. Jayhawk, Birdie J. Of course, there are other superfluous and rather clumsy clues. The hedgerow in the South Garden, that spells a letter B. Birdie's room is the sickle chakra, which is the one blocked by guilt, blah, blah, blah. But the motive, yes. On the cleverly planted 1998 issue of The Face magazine with uh, Birdie on the cover, she famously wore what became known as the Wren Diamond. And that's a family heirloom, I believe. Oh, uh, so? Mr. Braun, uh, the large pendulous locket, which is, uh, has not left your neck. <laughs> Bit out of keeping with your Breezy Island style. Would you kindly open it for us? He's so good! A dramatic, passionate, and colorful crime for a fashionista, Miss Birdie J. Oh. Damn! <laughs> See that? That's just been a bit. Very good. Very good. Box sized. Hmm. You want an iPad? Mr. Braun, truth is, I, I, I ruined your game on purpose and. For a very good reason. I'm sorry, what? I like the glass onion as a metaphor. An object that seems densely layered, but in reality, the center is in plain sight. Your relationship with these people may seem complex, but look what you've done this weekend is crystal clear. You've taken seven people, each of whom has a real life reason to wish you harm, gathered them together on a remote island, and place the idea of your murder in their heads. It's like putting a loaded gun on the table and turning off the lights. Oh, uh oh. Take my presence as a sign for at least one person on this island. This is not a game. This is really how they're gonna murder you. Famous napkin. I know this story. Right. Well, you look at that. I sketched out the original idea for Alpha on a cocktail napkin and I showed it to Andy one night at the Glass Onion. That was our local bar. That's where it all began. But they, they tore it down a year after that. Mm -hmm. You know, you could just power down. Ah, uh, it's my Google Alerts. Got them for all you guys. Whiskey, sports, I like general interest. You have a Google Alert for the word movie? I like movies. Don't. Are we even gonna talk about the elephant in the room? I'm just gonna throw a blanket over it and push through the weekend? Am I the elephant? Yeah! You're the elephant! You're not that bad. What'd you come for, Andy? What'd you I mean, say? Given the circumstances, I think it's a fair question. Fair. Oh my god, yes, no, fine. Nothing about any of this is fair. Congratulations, now you know. You made money off of Alpha all those years. You did fine. You got yours. I got it. No, he got his from me. All of it. My life was taken away from me by someone, by everyone in this room. My life. Do you even know what that means? Huh? What Claire is trying to say is we're sorry. We feel bad for you. What do you want? Say it! I want the truth! <laughs> want the truth the truth is is that we are all holding on to that golden tip we're all playing the same game here honey you lost so you can go ahead and put yourself up on a cross like some unspeakable crime has been committed against you that none of us could possibly imagine but me i'm tired of pretending like you're the victim in this game you just couldn't hack it. 
You're the loser. There. That's the truth. Damn, Dookie. 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 There she is. There's Andy. I know. And make constituents say, what was she doing in lockdown? Birdie, come on. Dance with me. Come on, pretty lady. Get that smile up. Come on. Come on. Hey, Duke smiling. There it is. There's my guy. What's going on? You look like you got good news. I was wondering why my goos are blowing up. The views on my channel are off the charts. You got to see. Oh. This is uh, all over the internet. Look at those numbers. Fire. Change things right now. That sure does. I was like this. We can talk alpha news. You bet your ass. Come here. <laughs> Come here. This is our time. You feel it? I mean, what did we all used to say? Fake it till you make it and have fun while we're doing it. Yeah, it's happening. We're all changing the world. I'm all scared. of us. Making a dent in our own ways. I'm you know, scared. five minutes ago, Blanc was telling me that this whole party was a very dangerous idea because you all hate me so much that one of you would actually want to. Wow. Look at that dress fit. Birdie, that's amazing. Just just watch this dress. Watch, spin that I'm toast. Scared. I want a toast to the disruptors. Yeah. My OGs. I love you. All of you. Ah Disruptors, breaking it and making it. Hey, that's what I want. Miles. On your feet, genius. I want to see your... Miles, Duke. What? Jesus. Dookie? Duke? 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 You see anything in there? No, because I feel like he's... Holy I'm afraid shit. Mr. Cody is, is dead. Oh, Duke! Duke. Ah, what happened? Did he, did he choke? What happened? There was no obstruction in his airways. But we won't know the exact cause of death without an autopsy, but I must insist that nobody know. touch the body or disturb anything around it. Police? Are you, are you treating this as a crime scene, then? I think, Mr. Blanc, you're not saying it was done with intention, are you? Well, we don't know. But Mr. Cody's death was so acute and violent, yes. My guess is something was put in his drink. Intentionally. What do you mean morning? How's that, what's that, how's that possible? Piece of shite. Don't just piece of shite. Piece of shite. Piece of... Boat can't come till low tide in the morning, 6 a.m. at the earliest. Do they understand Shit. the situation? Ah, Alexa, turn There's on the no lights. the landing point, and Miles' dumbass okay. Banksy dock was set to low tide height, and it isn't buoyant, it is a piece of shit. Oh, heck. Get it to the dock. I'll stay up all night with the body, make sure it's not tampered with in any way. I, I recommend that everyone gets to sleep. That was Miles' drink that Dookie drank out of. He picked up mine. Someone was trying to kill you. He picked up mine. I'll pay you one billion dollars to tell me which one of them tried to kill me. Miles! Billion? I'm Miles! Miles! Duke's phone. Where's Duke's phone? It just dinged. It yes. must be here. Yeah, I, I saw it. We just heard it. Yeah, it isn't in any Miles. pocket. Miles! Well, he must have uh. dropped it somewhere. Forget about his phone. Look. His gun is missing. Where's his stupid... He always has it. Which means we stopped seeing it. But at some point this evening, it was gone. When was that? Andy. We need to find Andy. Uh, Mr. 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 Braun. Oh, it's all right. It's Damn just that howly dong thing. What? That was at 10 o'clock. The lights go out. It was Andy. It was Andy. She killed Duke and she tore our room apart. I saw her. What? Is that a spear gun? Oh, not today. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, what Mr. Braun. What the hell is happening? Oh, those bells just... Oh, Lord, help us. Why am I so missing? Oh, there's Andy. Hey! 
Helen! <laughs> Listen, did you take Duke's gun? Why would I take Duke's gun? And why are the Duke lights is out? Dead. What? <gasps> Duke's gun! <gasps> Mr. Bonk! I don't understand. Please, trust me. It's all in plain sight. We only need one last piece of information, but only you can. <laughs> That guy who says he's not here. That guy. The guy in the background. Who's always in the background. Who's not here all of a sudden. That's my that's my guess. That's my guess who's doing all this. I don't know why he's doing all this, but that's my guess. It's time to finish this. Well, Blanca, I hate to burst your bubble, but we have another hour for this. It all makes perfect sense. Duke, Andy, this weekend, this ridiculous game that started well before we set foot on this island. Will you explain it to us then, Detective? No. Yeah. I can peel back the layers, I can take it to a point, but what lies at the center? Only one person can tell us who killed Cassandra Brand. Can I help you? Yes. Is, is this Benoit Blanc's residence? Um, what is this regarding? Well, his office was closed, and I really need to speak with him. It's urgent. Mm. Well, why don't we start at the beginning? My name is Helen Brand, mm. and I came all the way here from Alabama. Well, what do you do in Alabama? I teach, third grade, so a lot of Zooming. Days ago, I received a call. My twin sister committed suicide. In her car. In her garage. With the engine running. My sister was Cassandra Brand. Do you know who she was? Yes, of course. I'm I'm sorry, you I thought you looked familiar. <laughs> you know, she kept a journal every day of her life since she was six years old. And you know what she called it? Notes for future biographers. So you, um, you get the call. Yeah, yeah, I get the call and I fly in. This was yesterday. And then I, I go to Andy's house. I'm cleaning it out. It's a mess. All of her books everywhere. And I'm just thinking about what was taken from my sister. How I wasn't there for her. And I'm getting angrier and angrier. And then I just hear a knock at the door and it's some carrier with this thing from Miles Braun. And I'm sure there's some clever way to open it. I don't know. I just open it. And it's an invitation to his private island in Greece for next weekend. One of those little trips she'd go on with him and his group of shitheads. They like to call themselves the disruptors. But I knew who they were, and I told her who they were. Shitheads. She didn't leave any note. So I went on her computer, and I looked in her email, or sent messages to see if she wrote anybody anything. And look, she sent this at 4 p.m. the day she was murdered, four days ago. You know where to find me, hey. She sends that email, nobody writes back anything, and then the next day, she's dead in the garage with sleeping pills in her system? I searched every inch of every room in her house, and guess what wasn't there? The red envelope. Google said you are the world's greatest detective. Somebody like me and, takes and next to Batman, of course. The one was to get him alone, isolated for a weekend, with, in your words, the world's greatest detective. You want to hire me to go to that island? It's a stupid idea, right? Listen, I want to be clear. Huh? I'm not Batman. That's outrageous. I wouldn't. I... Well, now. You did the wow, whole switcheroo, did... didn't you? Yes. You did the switcheroo! And you got her killed! You motherfucker! You got this innocent third grade teacher killed! 
you were going to be researching these folks for motive. Did you find anything? Yes, I did. But motives for each of them to want Miles Braun dead. Now, why would they kill her to protect him? I just don't get it. What about Miles? What if he just did it? Well, we can't rule it out, but Miles Braun is not an idiot. To risk committing murder after a very public court case, with the possibility of that email of Andy's coming to light, would be an exceedingly stupid thing to do. About 10 years ago, before they all hit a bed, they used to hang together at this bar. And, and Miles was leader of the pack. No, Andy was. They were all friends with Andy. But Andy saw their potential. She found them all. Then she found Miles, introduced him to the group. This is Miles. Hey, nice to meet you, Miles. Hey. Wow, I love your hair. At first, nobody liked him. Outlive. You know, I want to I wanna be responsible for something that gets talked about in the same breath as the Mona Lisa. Forever. What does that even mean? It just means immortality. He wants to create something that feels lasting, that feels... His first venture was movie phone for foot massages. Did it work? No. OK, listen. Let's just roll with it. Let's humor him. Let's see where it goes. Let's see what happens. Hey, Tim. And things started happening. And then the big thing happened. What is that you're working on? So based on the napkin idea, Andy and Miles created Alpha. It blows up. They bring everyone along for the ride. Miles' aspirations keep getting bigger and bigger. Cut to two years ago, Miles meets some sketchy Norwegian scientists at an ayahuasca ceremony in Peru who sells him on this whole new hydrogen fuel. Mm -hmm. He becomes obsessed and he's willing to give the company's entire resources to launch this thing. Oh, no, this is not a startup. This could blow up the world. Yeah. No, literally, Miles, this could blow up the world. The reality distortion field ends here. I can't let you do this. What do you, what do you mean you can't let me? I walk. She did it. And God, I love that she did it. Then she found out that Miles had the lawyers work the contract, so she was cut out the company completely. So she sued over that. Her whole case was based on intellectual ownership of the company's founding idea. Her idea on the napkin. Which she didn't keep. Recall, Mr. Cody, who wrote this napkin? Yeah, Miles. Uh, it, it was Miles. Miles. Right after the verdict, Miles suddenly found the napkin written in his handwriting and did all those interviews about it. A bald face fabrication. A damn lie. And it worked. She found it. That was in the red envelope. Every one of the disruptors perjured themselves to destroy Andy and shield Miles Braun. We, you, you and I, we need to find out why. Motive. Who's was strong enough to go one step further and commit murder? And then, this will be tricky, everyone's whereabouts on the night of her death. Who could have been at Andy's house that night? Opportunity. Our suspects, huh? motive, mm -hmm. opportunity. Hey, this kind of looks like that clue no Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. This must be really great at Achilles heel. Ticking boxes, running around, searching all the rooms. It's just a terrible, terrible game. Well, my students love it. I love Clue too. My students love it too. They don't know how to play it correctly because they're first graders, but I'm teaching them. Oh. Doesn't like swimming, doesn't like the ocean. Oh, it's okay. God. Oops. It's okay. Breathe. That's why the tension. Ballsy move. Duke and Bertie, I think they're on me. Or they were just being assholes. Well, that's not mutually exclusive. Now, look, I suspect when we're all settling in, Brown's gonna pull me aside to explain my presence. That is your chance to snoop. Snoop? Snoop. Write it down. Write it down, girl. Now I'm getting the accent. <laughs> Sheila, fuck la. Shit. I forgot that happened. Two weeks ago, I did it. Did what? Signed off on the power plant. Yep. Oh. When this thing breaks, poof. My whole base is gone. The grassroots lefties, gone. I did it too. Did what? I signed off on putting clear in a manned mission. The staff hasn't known it yet. Oh, god damn it. Let's just 
pray that Andy was wrong about this clear stuff. Now nah, she was right. We put its gas form into household piping. It's massive leakage into the air. The hydrogen particles are too small. Hydrogen gas? That's gonna I kill know. people. I sold my soul for this. You're telling me that it could literally turn people's homes into the Hindenburg? I was the one on magazines. He was... Wait! No, you wait! That day in court, you couldn't even look me in the eye. Can we talk about the email? Oh. So now you want to talk about the email? You didn't even write back! I'm a politician. I never email anything that I wouldn't want to see on the front page of the Times. That's why I called. <laughs> we all did. Right after we got it, over and over. You, you, your phone was off. And then the whole next week. Yeah, well, I've got a new number. And when we couldn't reach you, I went to your house. Lionel and I got there at the same time. Duke was already there. Andy! Hey, Andy! The lights were out. I was pounding so hard, I almost broke it down. Andy! He came back later on to check. It was the same thing. Where the hell were you, Andy? What time did you get there? I don't know. It was dark. You were already there. He almost got in an accident on his motorcycle. He was driving so fast. Andy, I almost got pancaked. Okay, okay, I don't know what you're planning on pulling being here, but we need to talk about this. If I would have answered the door that night, would you have said, I'm sorry, I back you with miles? Or were you just showing up so you could stop me from using that envelope? Yeah, but they could have gone there early, killed your sister, circled away, and then waited for the other to arrive. It just... <laughs> Finish the Serena. Shit. Something, something is just teasing the edge of my brain. This, this case confounds me. It just confounds me. We don't have a motive for mm. Duke or Bertie. All his machines. Holy shit. From that afternoon, just minutes after Andy sent the email. Lionel. Lionel faxed it to Hold on, it doesn't necessarily mean he could. Get out. Right now. Go to him. Do what you gotta do. Push that son of a bitch. Just get an answer out of him. So that's what we're doing. See you there. That's where you heard the snap. It's mm. all he wants. The YouTube channel's dying. He needs the exposure. Just put him on Alpha News, baby. Just a late night spot. And you know he's earned it. With what he did. Listen, listen. I am building the future of news. I can't have rhino horn boner pill karma in the mix. <laughs> see? See? That's why you were screeching tightly. Got it, got it, got it. In that, Bertie, I swear to God, I'm gonna punch you in the face if you do not tell me. I am going to sign the statement. No, that will destroy us. The story is, no is gonna coming. break. What is this? An email from the Sweetie Pants contractor two years ago. Miss J, I am writing to inform you that the proposed Bangladesh factory is notoriously one of the world's biggest sweatshops. Please advise. And then you replied, sounds perfect, thanks. Please tell me you did not think sweatshops are where they make sweatpants. Sweats. Oh my God, you are so dumb. I take full responsibility for the sweatshops. He'll pay me the value of my shares. 30 million. This just never happens in Clue. That's because it's a terrible game. They all had a motive to protect Miles. They were all there that night. So what now, Detective? The envelope. Whoever killed your sister took that envelope to protect Miles. They wouldn't just destroy it. They would want him to see what they'd done for him. They brought it here. They'll have to hide it in that room. What the hell? What happened? What happened? I just read the news. What the hell? Cassandra Brand. Found dead from a suicide. Shit! You gotta find that. Andy? I can 
can explain this. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? Listen, there's great danger. Did you take Duke's gun? Why would I take Duke's gun? And why are the lights Duke out? Duke is dead. What? No time. Did you find the envelope? No, I searched every room. It's not there. Oh, I've been a fool. There's one more room to search. They already gave it to Miles. It's in the glass onion. No, if I can distract everyone and you can get up there and find it. No, but that doesn't tell us who gave it to him. Block, I don't understand. Please, trust me. It's all in plain sight. We only need one last piece of information, and only you can. Then the shot. Oh, who killed Helen? Killed. <gasps> oh my God! Ha, ha, ha. How are you? How the bitch? How are you alive? <gasps> the journal. Oh, <gasps> holy shit. <gasps> the hot sauce. It's hot sauce, not blood. <gasps> Only one person can tell us who killed Cassandra Brand. Who? Well, I keep returning in my mind, to the glass onion. It seems densely layered, mysterious, and inscrutable. But in fact, the center is in plain sight. It hides not behind complexity, but behind mind-numbing, obvious clarity. This it doesn't hide at all. And I was staring right at it. does have it. The killer nearly struck my Achilles heel, but thank high heaven, at the last moment, I realized what it teased my brain through this entire case. And breathe it. Not a word. What? Can we just take a second and fully and breathe this moment? It's not a real word. It kind of sounds like one, but it's just entirely made up. Now, reclamation, now, nah, well, that, that is a word, but it's the wrong word. This place, it's the full reclamation of everything I've achieved up to now. This entire day. The predefinite detective. A veritable minefield of malapropisms. The infraction point. And factual errors. Bask in the sun, swim in the Ionian Sea. That is the Aegean Sea. Like everyone in the world, I assumed Miles Braun was a complicated genius. Miles Braun is an idiot. <laughs> Just outwardly saying it. Just tell us who tried to kill me. Uh, nobody tried to kill you, you vainglorious buffoon. He must have picked it up by mistake, you told us, right after it happened. Look, you said those words. That's what we all remember seeing. But think. Ignore his lies, everyone, and think clearly now. What did we all actually see? Wow, look at that dress spin. Bertie, that's amazing. Just, just. <gasps> you handed he Duke. He gave him the glass. glass. Clear as crystal, <gasps> right in front of our eyes, all of us. And then told a bald faced fabrication. The night Andy sent you all the emails, when Duke got to Andy's house early on his motorcycle. <laughs> He saw Miles leaving. Was almost struck by him. In fact, he told all of us. Right out in the open, he told us. Iconic. You remember that night you almost pancaked me with it on the road outside of Andy's? Anderson Cooper's birthday. Mm -hmm. That night at Andy's, Miles saw you on your birthday in New York. Gave you that necklace for your birthday. And you're a Holy shit!
Who did the envelope threaten? You. Miles Braun. Scene of the crime, and Andy lets him in. Of course she did. Miles' machine of lawyers and power could destroy her through sheer dumb force, but Miles himself? Oh, she was clever enough not to fear Miles. Well, she didn't see the real threat, the obvious threat, until it was too late. Well, Duke alone knew you were there that night, but he didn't know Andy was dead. No, no, he didn't know that until this evening, right here, when he got a Google alert on his phone, which has now fallen strangely silent, and which he showed to you. <gasps> because you don't own a phone. He didn't need to hide the death. He just needed to hide that Duke had shown him the death moments before he was killed. Right out in the open, Duke showed him. That changes things, right? It sure does. And told him exactly what he wanted in return for his silence. Numbers like this. Maybe we can talk alpha news. You bet your ass. Come here. <laughs> Birdie, what are the ingredients to your Cuban breeze? Um, vodka, amaretto, oh, and pineapple juice. No pineapple in there, right? This Duke don't dance with pineapple. An allergy. He's allergic to pineapples. Pineapple juice. He just put pineapple, pineapple juice, juice in, in his whiskey. whiskey. It's so Holy dumb. shit! Oh, it's so dumb. It's brilliant. Holy no, shit. it's just dumb. It's just dumb. And now we come to Helen's attempted murder, which I have to give you credit for. You did have a sound foundation of thought. You realize the opportunity laid out in front of you. You have a house on a remote island, filled with desperate people all of whom have a real-life reason to wish this woman harm of your murder in their heads. It's like putting a loaded gun on Close. the table and People turning turn off, off the lights. lights. Yeah. You stole his idea, you sick you son of a bitch. Brainless. You're one murder with any panache at all. And you stole the whole idea from me. You recognize this? Andy's handwriting. I got you, son of a bitch. Oh, let's slow down there, sister, okay? Because first, how could you ever prove that that's the original? She might have copied mine. No. The bar closed nine years ago, and hers has one thing that George just doesn't. Okay, but second... Shit! He burned it! Burned what? I didn't see anything. You burned it! Is someone making toast? This will not stand. Uh -huh. Well, did you see this proof? This smoking napkin blanc? If this was just us playing my murder mystery game, which we should have been doing all weekend, then Blanc wins an iPad Pro this time. You need evidence, and you've got nothing. Anywhere you go, it's going to be your word against mine. How do you think that's going to go? I think it's going to go about like it went for Andy. Jesus. Nobody stepping up? I would. I'm with you, girl. Raise your hand and say, I saw him take Duke's gun. I didn't, but I'll, 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 raise, you, I'll raise my hand. I saw him that night at Andy's house. I saw the napkin before he burned it. You would lie for a lie, but you won't lie for the truth. Offer you some courage. And a reminder of why your sister walked away in the first place. Oh, really? Really. 
Fuck you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to break something. I can't. This is my stuff. But I want to break your shit. I want to break your shit. Can I break your shit? I want to break your shit. Okay. Another. I get it, guys. Let it all out. What? What is it? What do you want? We're not. Oh my god! Whoa! Helen, walk away. Yeah. With a reminder of why my sister walked away in the first place. She's a kid for What now, Hulk? You wanna rage out? You wouldn't like it when he's angry. That's a big green hulking machine. <gasps> and the Mona Lisa. Press it, press it, press it, press it, press it. Fuck off! Press it, press it! Yes! Ah, you child! You feel better now? I hope you little bitch tantrum gave you closure, cause it accomplished nothing! Your feel of the future just barbecued. The world's most famous painting, you dumbass. Congratulations on the public launch of Clear and the end of Miles Braun. No. Gang, we all saw the same thing. We know what happened. Am I right? I saw the napkin he burned. Mm hmm It's starting to come back. What now, you son of a bitch? What now? You were a shithead. Did you get the son of a bitch? Yep. Yeah. Damn. That was a good one. Damn. That was good. I did not expect that to go the way it happened, but it did. Oh my god! At first, I was like, "Okay, is is he really gonna die? Is he really gonna get murdered?" But no, it's just it was basically like a it was basically gonna be a ginormous clue, and everyone was gonna be a part of it, and then Birdie was gonna be the so-called murderer of it, and then. In order to get his point, oh my god, so he's a murderous asshole shithead who's an idiot and who will use anyone and anything to get what he wants. Sounds like a lot of people that are currently in power. Yeah, and who are billionaires. And who are billionaires. Yeah. And for, the, for those of us who want the truth, like Helen and like Blanc, we get inflamed and furious and just want to take the nearest glass thing and shatter it in the ground and put it all ablaze. Oh, the clear. Oh, I didn't see the clear coming. Because she said it was like a Heisenberg. It's like, ah, oh, I remember learning about that. Oh, uh, that all wrapped up in a nice little bow. I, I didn't know how it was going to end because like, I'm like in the party scene like, what the fuck is happening? And then Helen just, and then what I thought was Andy get shot out of nowhere. I'm like, did she get shot in the head? I literally thought she got shot in the head, but she got shot in like the chest area. I'm like, oh my gosh, she got shot. What's happening now? And then we go back a few steps and measure. It wasn't Andy. It was her twin sister. 
Because I'm like, wait, Andy, what are you doing here? I'm like, I'm 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 a southern girl. My name my name is Helen, Helen Brand. My my twin sister was murdered, but it was looking like suicide. And I'm like, ten steps back. One, ha, mm -hmm, huh? Two, mm -hmm, huh? and then three. What? And then and then that and then that happened. And then, then, then that, that that happened. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more of this craziness because I love who's done. But I am so bad at puzzles. I am so bad at puzzles. <laughs> I am so bad. Um, but um, yeah. And if you want a little bit of a hint of next week's um um video. This is all I'll say, and this and this is one clue, y'all, y'all. <laughs> it's funny if you figure it out, you know why I'm laughing. <laughs> it's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll get the clue. <laughs> speaking of clues, speaking of. <laughs> I'm sorry. Speaking of. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Okay. <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. Okay, here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This will come either next week or sometime when I have some free time. Because Monday I gotta go back for work. But this is your one and only clue. Can you guess? Have any guesses? Do you know the answer? Write down in the comments below what you think that clue was referenced of and why I was laughing so damn hard. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys then. Um, otherwise, I don't know when that um, Strange World will be uploaded, but hopefully soon. Um, I gotta go text my cousin who lives in Florida, so... It's probably 3 o'clock in the morning for her because it's now 12.44, so yay, I'll probably call her tomorrow or text her tomorrow. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and, and please tell me what you thought about the clue I just gave you, why I laughed so hard because of that clue, and of this gl glass onion thing. I t that's, that's ironic. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Yeah, but make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. And this is M-T-A-D-D-Y. I don't know, that's just, oh, that was a slew of things that just go round and round. I'm like, I don't know. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.